<laughs> you are so awkward, you're funny. All right, we're just chilling on the floor now. This retails for $26. Oh my goodness, <laughs> happy vlogmas day 29. You can probably tell I just finished my workout and my I honestly finished my workout probably 20 minutes ago. My face is still super red. I'm still trying to like catch my breath. That was quite a workout. I think it was like 40 minutes and it was a total body so it was kind of all over the place. I'm wearing another new little activewear set. I'm going to talk to you guys more about this and some other stuff that I've recently gotten. Just kind of do like a little haul later in this video I figured. But I want to just start the vlog. I've actually been up for a couple hours. It's Monday. Day, obviously but Ken's taking today off of work so we're kind of just extending the weekend another day which is really fun so we kind of just like were lazy in bed for a little while and then got up Sydney Cummings was actually on Good Morning America this morning which is really cool if y'all have you know watched the vlogs for basically any length of time you know I'm obsessed with her I work out with her every single day I'm in the Sydney squad so I was really really excited to see her on Good Morning America that's such a cool accomplishment for her so I tuned into that I got my workout done just made breakfast for Ken I'm still not hungry it's 10 o'clock but I'm not hungry yet so I'm just gonna have my coffee. I'm gonna work on editing the vlog for today. <laughs> he has no concept of depth perception whatsoever. Get it, Tanky. <laughs> and then he gets frustrated, and then he like stops, and then he does it again. I was wanting to mention this candle and another candle that are really good for like post Christmas because obviously kind of like the balsam ones are done but the creamy nutmeg and then the cocoa or hot cocoa and cream are both really really good options for still kind of like the holiday and winter time but not super super Christmassy so I broke this one out and I'm gonna save the hot cocoa one probably for January this is also probably not exciting to anyone other than me but I just kind of reorganized I wish I would have showed what it was like in here previously but I didn't even think to do that but we had like some scarves and hats and gloves like a lint roller an umbrella some masks like kind of just in a different bucket and some like just floating all over the place on this shelf i got this basket i replaced <laughs> what are you doing it was awkward i was out there stretching and oh and there's a dog, dog pooping on our yard I pooped right on our yard i didn't want to stand there and watch it so you me. literally just awkwardly turned back around i don't know that they saw me <laughs> <laughs> you are so awkward. You're funny. So anyway, I replaced the bin that was in here. This is now super well organized. It has masks, gloves, hats, like all the things I just mentioned, all concealed in here. And then over there are our yard flags. So it's looking way more organized in here. And then I'm going to use this bucket, which was in there, to organize in the uh, laundry room cabinets. Oh, hello. It is like quarter after 12 and I still haven't eaten a single thing yet today like at all I just finished my coffee I've just been sitting on the computer getting the vlog done, which I just finished I'm gonna get that uploading I've just kind of been all over the place Like I, I have a thought and I go do it and then I come back and like I randomly just organize that closet in the middle of editing Why did I do that? I don't know. I'm all over the place today I really need to use today to like get it together like it's a Monday I think Mondays are always a good get shit done day So I want to kind of chill at the same time though because like I mentioned in yesterday's vlog we we have just been with people and go 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 and just having plans and doing stuff pretty much non-stop I feel like we haven't even been at the house the last couple of days like the last four days So I kind of want to use today partially to just kind of decompress and chill from all the activities and socialization But I also want to get stuff done because we haven't gotten things done because of all the activities and socialization Like my to-do list has just not gotten touched at all So part of me wants to chill part of me wants to be really productive So I need to balance the two. All right. I just got a quick shower. I'm wearing this headwrap again I am actually so obsessed with this ever since I showed y'all a couple of days ago I have been so obsessed with this head wrap I will link this again for you guys I have a whole bunch of stuff to show y'all some items are definitely more exciting than others but I just tried this hair mask for the first time the Pearlplex bonding mask I just did it in the shower I left it in for just a couple minutes while I shaved and everything and I've never tried it before but I'm gonna test it out I guess I can let y'all know how I like it I've been meaning to do a hair mask for a while and I just haven't gotten around to it so I'm trying this one for the first time and then of course when I 
my god, I have a shower since I shaved, especially after that. My skin always needs a ton of hydration. So I'm using the Sol de Janeiro. But this is the Coco Cabana cream. This is not the um, Bum Bum cream. So it's just got a little bit of a different scent. It's like very coconutty. I really like this. Some people say it smells like popcorn, <laughs> which I can totally see. But I really, really like this one. So I wanted to share this in case y'all haven't tried the one in the blue packaging. It's really good. And this is super gross, but I'm going to show y'all anyway because it's just kind of a random cleaning thing I'm about to do. I honestly do this kind of often. I didn't even think to do it today, but when I got out of the shower, I accidentally kicked it off and I saw what it looked like. So I was like, okay, I guess that's a sign. But this is like the piece that kind of slides underneath the door to like kind of, I don't know, keep water from leaking out. But as you can see, it definitely gets super gross over time as water and just like, you know, mildew accumulates. Like even on this side, it's gross and also in the middle and also on this flap. So I'm gonna clean this down. I typically just use a Q-tip and kind of go through in the middle there and then just like use a towel to kind of wipe the rest of it. So here's a little reminder if you've never cleaned that little thing here also don't forget to clean like the glass um go ahead and do it because it's probably gross and just like that all nice and clean all right my hair is a brush i got just like some seriously cozy clothes on even these super fuzzy socks and i'm just gonna do a quick little kind of like pr haul if you want to even call it that just a couple things that have been sent to me that i've been wanting to show you guys i've kind of been trying them out for a couple days just to gather my thoughts and i figured i would kind of sit down and do like a little kind of haul ish with them um this is not part of that but i did want to mention because i'm gonna go downstairs and do this in a little while but now that i'm not on like any medication or anything like that i can teeth whiten so i'm really excited i got this in my fabfitfun box for the winter and as you can see it has a cell phone on the cover because you plug in the like light strip to your phone like where you would charge it and that's how it like gets its power so i'm really really eager to try this i do actually have a discount code for fabfitfun if y'all want to try to have ten dollars off your first box and the boxes are always so good you can get a box for like 39 dollars and my box was worth like over 300 it's like a ridiculous value so i will have that link down below the coupon code y'all should really really try it out it's amazing and this alone is worth I think like $60 or something like that. I'm gonna try this later. I'll let y'all know what I think. So this first item, I know this is so random, but this is a tongue scraper and I feel like people maybe would be kind of grossed out by this, but I feel like we need to talk about this because this is actually kind of a game changer. I've seen and heard about tongue scrapers and like all the benefits of them so many times, but I've never actually tried one. Basic Concepts is the company. They sent these over. These are available on Amazon, so of course I will link them. Super affordable on Prime. You can get them super easily and quickly. They're kind of the coolest thing ever. Ever. They're actually medical grade, so they're super legit. As you can see, I put an S and a K for obviously me and my husband on them, so we know whose is whose. You just use this side, because obviously you can see it kind of has a lip on it. I'm not gonna actually scrape my tongue on camera, because that's gonna be gross, <laughs> but you literally just use this kind of bigger side and reach all the way back on your tongue and kind of just like push it down, put a little pressure and scrape. And it kind of like, this is also gonna sound gross, but it kind of like collects any of like the gunk or the saliva on your tongue kind of under this lip, so then you can just kind of like tap it off in your sink and y'all you would be shocked at how much stuff comes off your tongue it's one of those things that's equally gross and equally satisfying to see like just how much stuff you can get off your tongue there are so many benefits to doing this just some of the things listed here on the box it says it improves taste removes bacteria reduces bad breath eliminates residue and it's rust proof and bpa free so it has a ton of benefits it's really 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 cool and really really satisfying and it kind of just feels like you're doing that extra step in your like oral hygiene in addition to your brush your flossing your mouthwash all of that this is just kind of one extra step you can add in that makes a really really big difference I'm not gonna you know stick my tongue out to you guys but I'm sure you know you can kind of get like that film kind of on top of your tongue and it's definitely not good there's bacteria all kinds of gross stuff bad breath this just completely scrapes it off so I would really suggest trying this they're super super affordable it only takes like an extra it only takes like an extra like 30 seconds in your mouth routine at the end of the night. It's amazing. You just rinse it off and then like every, you know, couple weeks you can just sanitize it. But it's super easy to use and I've really been enjoying it, as weird as that sounds. And we've just been keeping them stored right in here with our toothbrushes and our toothpaste. So they're also super tiny. Like they'll definitely fit in with all your other stuff. All right, we're just chilling on the floor now to talk about some of this other stuff. The next thing I want to show you guys, I actually have been taking these over the last couple days and they're so good. These are from Calm by wellness is the company these are their vegan cbd gummies this is what the packaging looks like i think it's so pretty so these are in the flavor orange hibiscus and strawberry guava 
which hello, that just sounds delicious. These have 10 milligrams of broad spectrum hemp extract CBD per gummy. They're THC free, of course. And like I said, they are vegan. I, I kind of like when products are vegan just because obviously if you're not vegan, you can still have them. But if you are, they're more applicable to more people. I have been trying a bunch of different CBD stuff over the last probably six months is kind of when I started getting into it. I've tried the oil tinctures and, and some like topical stuff, but I've never tried a gummy. This is actually my first time. I've taken a few of these over the last couple days. It says the serving size is one gummy. It says on um, the suggested uses for adults to take one to three gummies per day. So I've just been taking two, like kind of right in the middle. Like I said, I've only been taking them for a couple of days, but I really, really like them. They taste super, super good. This company just uses really good, like clean ingredients in their products, which I really like. They actually list on their website every single thing in the gummy. So tapioca syrup, agar, sorbitol, coconut oil, organic cane sugar, uh, bean gum, and lactic acid. So there's really not a ton of ingredients and you can like pronounce all of them and read what all of them do. So if y'all are into the CBD kind of thing, just for kind of relaxing, like kind of calming down, chilling out, kind of like with any like vitamin or any supplement, I feel like you kind of need to take it for a little while, like consistently to really be able to tell how you like it and what the effects are. But so far, I've been really enjoying this. I definitely need to continue using it, but I do really like it so far. I think gummies are probably my new favorite way to take CBD. I don't really like the oils and I don't really feel that topical stuff has a huge effect personally, but this is my first time taking gummies and I think this is definitely going to be how I continue to take them because they're so delicious and they're really easy to take they're really easy to chew I've been really really enjoying them these come with 30 of course I will link them down below it actually says on the top here that you can get a free bottle at calmbywellness.com slash free so this is not like a personal code to me or anything like that but I think you can test them out using that link so there is that website right there I will put this in the description box as well of course so if y'all want to try these out definitely check them out I will also just link the regular link for these as well down below they have a bunch of other stuff they're not only vegan they have a ton of CBD products products. This is just one of the ones that I've been trying. These next couple pieces, I am so, 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 so excited to share with you guys. It is some activewear, which y'all know I work out like a mad woman and I am obsessed with leggings and activewear and literally anything I can wear to work out or even just for athleisure purposes. I'm obsessed with. I have like an unhealthy number of leggings and sports bras. They're my favorite. And a couple pieces I have to show y'all today are from the brand Italic. Look at how cute their little tag is. I kind of just wanted to show y'all the branding. It's kind of subtle there. So kind of the mission before I show you guys these products, what's really amazing about this company is that their products are manufactured by the same manufacturer as like Aloe Yoga, Stella McCartney, Giorgio Armani, like a ton of really high-end, like luxury, expensive brands. But theirs are just like a fraction of the cost, like a fraction, fraction of the cost. You basically just pay costs. So they don't like mark it up to make it like a special name, like Aloe Yoga or something, just to kind of brand it. And of course, there's no like retailer, like you, you can't find these items in a store. You know, it's just available online, so they kind of have eliminated the middleman. So they're able to provide the insanely high quality, like luxury feeling workout gear as Aloe Yoga and all those other companies for like a quarter of the price. It is insane. When I first opened these packages, I couldn't believe how these products felt and how much they cost. Because y'all know, I, I mean, I do have some Lululemon products, but I'm really not one for spending a ton of money on activewear because I wear the crap out of it and all I really do is just sweat in it. And I don't really see the point in wearing like hundreds of dollars in activewear just to sweat in it and then take it off and wash it. So I love affordable activewear, but of course still good quality because like I said, I wear the crap out of it. So I need it to hold up. This stuff is insane. I will link the Vlogmas where I wore this. And then for both of these outfits, I'll put pictures on the screen of me wearing them just so you guys can see what they look like on me. And of course they will be linked down below. You can see like the models wearing them. So the first set I'm going to show y'all is in this really, really, really pretty blue. These have a little bit of like deodorant marks and stuff on them because I worked out in these a couple days ago. But this is a like racer back tank top. It actually has a built-in bra, which I didn't even know at first. I was so pleasantly surprised when I opened it and saw that it's like padded and it kind of has like the little shelf bra in here. So you don't have to layer up another bra underneath of it. And it has a really good amount of support. Wow, I really got deodorant all over this. I just realized. But the first thing I noticed was just like these straps and just like the whole bra section are just really just like thick and this material I swear it feels insanely expensive it just feels really thick it's super stretchy but really supportive I swear this feels like there's like 14 layers to this it's just so thick and cushy really stretchy really comfortable to wear this is called their aura racer back tank and they included some comparable items to this and their prices so this retails for $26 
Like, you can't even get workout tops on Amazon for $26. Like, I, I still can't believe these cost what they cost. Compared to Aloe Yoga, this retails for $54. And Lululemon, this retails for $58. So, like I said, it's literally half the price. But very similar material. The same manufacturer. Like, they feel identical. And then the matching bottoms are these amazing leggings. I really have to tell y'all these leggings are probably some of my new favorites in my whole collection. And I'm not just saying that this video is not sponsored or anything like that. They just sent these to me. And I'm kind of obsessed with them. So, these are really nice high waisted legging a really nice big band they have a little secret built-in pocket right at the back which I can always appreciate they have some cute kind of stitch detailing on the back but I mean what I love about them the most other than that they're super simple but they are really really stretchy but in just the right way they're still compressive so they really suck you in they don't really move much at all when you work out and they are just the comfiest material they're not super super slick like a really smooth spandex they're a little bit more of like a stretchy kind of cotton feeling but I love them they're still super breathable they're nicely sweat that's what I was shocked by when I was done with like a really sweaty workout my leggings and my bra were not like saturated and sweat like they usually are and I swear you just feel a naked in these I got a size small in these and they fit so perfectly I'm typically a size 4 for reference they're right in that perfect middle ground where they're good for working out but also good for lounging which like what more could you want I'm just obsessed with this material the only thing I will say with the tank top is I kind of felt like the armholes were a little too low for my preference like I felt like I kind of had like a tiny bit of side boob kind of over here it wasn't showing but I just feel like typically my sports bras kind of cut right under my armpit and this definitely goes a little further down than like right under your armpit as you can kind of tell it's a little bit of a wider opening so that's the only thing that was a little different but again I typically just wear sports bras I don't often wear tank tops to work out which I don't know why because they're really comfortable and especially right now where it's so cold in the mornings like even in my house it's cold it's nice to actually have a little bit more material on like this tank top kept me warmer than I typically am without making me extra sweaty I also just kind of wish these straps back here were adjustable I know that's not typical for a tank top but some sports bras are adjustable and I do kind of wish it was a little adjustable because I felt like it was a little bit low cut for me and I do like film and post my workouts so if you don't mind having a little more cleavage showing then this would totally be fine for you but I typically like to have my sports bras a little bit higher up on my neck for extra support and a little bit more coverage and because you can't adjust this it's just kind of however low is however low it is you can't really change it I feel like that's pretty normal for tank tops so if you're into sport tank tops you will probably love this but I think I like the regular sports bra even more this is the set I was wearing today I'm sure you all saw it in the beginning of this vlog this is also a racer bag this is a little bit more what I'm used to for a sports bra as you can see it's got a much higher neck situation so you don't have much cleavage it's got a ton of support and then it actually has this extra band right along the bottom I just realized I didn't mention I got a size small in the tank top and the leggings and I got a size small in the matching leggings but I did get this in a medium just to be safe I mean I don't have a huge chest situation but I typically like to get a medium in sports bras just so it's not like you know cutting off my my air supply or anything like that and this fit perfectly in the medium so I'm really glad that I did that the band at the bottom here is really nice and thick but again super soft and stretchy so it doesn't cut into you it's very comfortable to wear and then it just kind of has the eraser back style and it's almost like a T it just kind of like drops right into the band at the bottom so you kind of have a good amount of back showing which I think is cute I loved this for my workout today it is padded as is this one but they actually both have removable pads so in the tank top here you can remove the pads and then of course in the sports bra here you can remove the pads I like to leave my pads in what I also think is really worth mentioning and this is kind of a game changer is the pads are separated so as I think you can kind of see the pads have their own little pocket I think you can see the stitching kind of right there so the pads can't like drift into the middle same with this tank top with the built-in bra I think you can see there the pads have their own little pocket I hate when you get them out of the wash and the pads are like on top of each other in the middle and you've got to try to finagle them or if you're working out and they kind of move around I like when the pads are in their own little separate pocket so again the like attention to detail and just like these kind of higher end features I think are just amazing so it says that these items retail for $52 compared to aloe yoga $82 and outdoor voices $88 crazy and y'all will never believe the price of these leggings I'm like double checking because I still can't believe it these retail for only $30 compared to Aloe Yoga 82 and Outdoor Voices 88 so like these are like a third of the price of those these do not feel like $30 leggings I'm obsessed with this sportswear this is like one of my new favorites I just love this set in general I think this color is so pretty these are obviously the matching leggings again in a size small this really pretty like matching kind of olive color these are the same leggings as these ones so the exact same material same kind of stitching really really stretchy 
stretchy and comfortable I love these sets so much and I love these colors they're just so different so yeah those are some of the pieces I've been wearing lately I wanted to work out in both of them before I shared it with you guys and I can attest to their quality so y'all need to check them out I will have a link in the description box you will be so shook I don't even use that word but that's how you're gonna feel when you see the prices and the quality of these items like you can get aloe yoga quality products for a half to a third of the cost I, I can't wrap my mind around that so definitely check out the description box if you're into activewear like me or even if you just like to lounge in it I really really wanted to share them with you guys so I will link the tongue scraper the CBD gummies the activewear all of that down below italic also sells other products besides just activewear so if you want to just check out their normal clothing of course they have a ton of stuff on their website for women and men so definitely check that out in the description box I will have everything there for you I know that I just ranted and raved about activewear <laughs> for forever but I was so excited about that stuff but now I think I'm gonna head downstairs Ken's outside golfing again I don't know if y'all saw yesterday's vlogmas but he was outside just golfing for forever with all his new toys from Christmas but I think I'm gonna go downstairs I want to finish up working on my planner and I want to try this teeth whitening I'm really excited I haven't teeth whitened in so long I meant to mention I don't have a coupon code or anything for the CBD gummies but they are having a big sale on their website right now that has nothing to do with me but if you check it out they have a coupon code already available if you want to get a discount on some of this stuff definitely check that out I also just realized I totally forgot to mention but italic also has free shipping on all orders right now so you could even just purchase like one thing you don't have to spend like a minimum amount to get free shipping because I don't know about y'all but I hate paying for shipping I pretty much refuse to do it so you could buy any of these products and get free shipping on it no matter how much you spend all right I just <laughs> was sitting doing a ton of computer work honestly for the last very long time probably like hour but I'm doing my teeth whitening now so here's the little set this is the little like mouthpiece and then you just attach this guy to here and then you can just use whichever uh, little adapter you need obviously this is an iPhone this is probably an Android and then this is just like a USB plug I filled each side of this little tray from that syringe there so I'm gonna pop it in my mouth and then plug it into my phone I feel like I have not been picking up the camera much lately because honestly there hasn't been much to show. I was just again sitting on the computer for another like I feel like hour and I was also doing my planner for like half an hour. So I have just been kind of doing like I feel like administrative type things which is a lot of times what I do on Mondays. So there hasn't been a ton to show but I am working on dinner. I've got some butternut squash and shallot going in this pan. I'm making some chili and then I'm also going to make some soup just like half for lunches and stuff. The turkey chili is just about done. This is literally just turkey, shallot, butternut squash, ground turkey obviously, and then uh, crushed tomatoes and water and some seasonings. And then of course I've got some cheese, sour cream, tomato, cilantro, all the toppings. But that's basically done. I'm actually going to turn that off. And then over here, I'm working on a soup. I had a kind of a bunch of ingredients to use up. I had like a bell pepper, I had a zucchini, um, some onion, like half an onion, some potatoes. So I'm actually making this recipe. I saw an influencer um, on Instagram share this recipe and it looked amazing. And honestly, it's something Ken would hate and something I would love. And so that's why I'm making two things. This is dinner tonight and then this is just gonna kind of be for lunches for me for the next couple of days. Just because A, I'm trying to use stuff up and B, I'm trying to get back on the health train. So as you can see, this is just a ton of veggies. A little bit of sausage. It's gonna basically be like a zucchini and sausage soup. I obviously haven't put the zucchini in yet, but it's going to be basically like a, a ton of veggies and like some tomatoes and stuff in there. I'm so excited. This looks and smells so good. It's just boiling away. Uh, since the last clip, all I did was add some tomato paste, canned diced tomatoes, and some homemade chicken stock. So I'm just going to kind of let this do its thing. And here's our turkey chili. Mmm. I was trying to show y'all Nala playing yeah, with her new cat it. toy. She has his tail in her mouth. She's crushing it, but she, it's so dark and she's the same color as the floor. Okay, name the movie just from this screen. Oh, the voice is a dead giveaway. Even though it's after Christmas, <laughs> yeah, it's true. Even though it's after Christmas, we never actually got to watch this movie and we thought we were gonna see it at the Speedway yesterday, but we didn't, so we're watching it now. <laughs> I have been so bad. I feel like with my vlogging today, I have not been picking up the camera very much at all. We just hung out and chilled after dinner. Actually, my girlfriend called me, so I chatted with her for a little bit. I was trying to FaceTime with my little cousins, the triplets, to talk about Christmas and stuff.
stuff, but I missed their window of availability. So I'll have to chat with them tomorrow. And we started watching, as you saw, A Christmas Story. We didn't actually get to finish it, so we're gonna probably finish it either later or tomorrow. But that's gonna be it. I was working on editing another video, and then my computer was dying, so I need to plug it in, so I guess I'll finish that tomorrow. But that's gonna probably be it. I will link, I meant to mention, I will link the recipe for that uh, like zucchini and sausage soup that I made. I'm so, so, so excited about it. It's gonna be such a nice, like healthy, really easy lunch to just heat up. And especially since it's so cold, I feel like soups are so cozy. So I wanted to mention, I will link that recipe because it's super, super easy. I had all the ingredients on hand and it's pretty good. I did a little taste test and it was good. So I'm very excited about that. That will be down below. And I think that's gonna wrap it up for tonight. So I thank you guys so much for watching. And of course we will see you in tomorrow. Vlogmas. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. So I'm.